This is Chad Warner, founder of Optimize. Today I'm going to show you how to reduce the amount of spam you receive through your contact form in your WordPress site. I'm going to do that using Gravity Forms, which is one of the most popular WordPress plugins for contact forms. You can probably do similar things with the contact form plugin that you use. First thing we're going to do is enable the anti-spam honeypot. And we can do that by going into our WordPress site, going to Forms in the admin menu, finding the form that you want to enable the honeypot on, go to Settings, Form Settings, and on that page you can scroll to the bottom and there's an option for the anti-spam honeypot. And you can check that box to enable it and then update your form settings. So sometimes that's enough to significantly reduce the amount of spam that you receive. So wait a few days after you enable that and then if you're still receiving spam, go ahead to the next step. Uh, the next step is reCAPTCHA and this is a um, service through Google that uh, makes it easier to um, use CAPTCHA than uh, the, the old-fashioned CAPTCHAs that have been around for a while. So you'll go to Get reCAPTCHA here. Uh, you'll have to log into Google if you're not already. And then you can register your site. So the label, uh, usually just easiest to put in your uh, web address, your domain name. And then you can select reCAPTCHA version 2. Then you'll have to add in the domains that you want to associate. So I'm going to put the same thing here and then accept the terms and register. Once you do that, you will get a site key and a secret key and you will want to put those into WordPress. So we're going to go back into WordPress and now under forms, we're going to go to settings. That will take you to the general settings for Gravity Forms. And you can scroll all the way down and you'll see there's a spot for your site key and your secret key. So you want to grab those out of the reCAPTCHA admin and just paste those into your settings and then you can save those settings. Next you need to put the reCAPTCHA field into your contact form. So back into uh, the forms and let's edit our form and now under advanced fields there's an option for a CAPTCHA field and I can drag that. I'm just going to make that the bottom field here. So let it go right here. And you can see that it's uh, already set up for reCAPTCHA. So I'm just going to click on this field to expand it uh, because just the word CAPTCHA here is uh, not very friendly and not everyone's going to know what that means. So uh, I find that it's better to use a field label, something like, please confirm your humanity. Something along those lines. All right, uh, and then what you can do is update your form, and that will then appear at the bottom of the form. So you're going to end up with something that looks like this. So you've got your contact form at the bottom. You've got the reCAPTCHA, which a person can click through there. So that is usually enough to significantly reduce the amount of spam you receive. Uh, again, wait a few days after you enable that. If you're still receiving too much spam, um, there's one more thing that you can try here, and that is increasing the reCAPTCHA security. So over in your reCAPTCHA settings, so you'll go back to your reCAPTCHA admin, find your site, click on that, and then you can scroll down to your key settings, advanced settings. Click to expand that. And by default, it's going to be right in the middle um, balancing between being easy for users and secure. Uh, so what you want to do is slide that. There's really only three settings here. Um, so you can drag it over to most secure and then save your changes uh, and try that. Um, between all of those things, that should greatly reduce the amount of spam that you receive through your WordPress site. If you have any other questions or looking for more information, check us out at optimize.com.